Hey there, how's it going? I am Mr. Bo, and in this guide, I'm going to be showing you how to get the Wonder Weapon in Mauer de Toten for free. That is the Cerberus Weapon. And of course, there's always a few different ways to unlock the Wonder Weapon in a map, either by hitting the Mystery Box or by doing the Trial Challenges, but usually every map has its own unique way, a little sort of side quest that grants you a Wonder Weapon at the end of it. And that's what we're going to be taking a look at right now. So the first thing you're going to need to have done is to have built Klaus. Now if you're not entirely sure how to build him, I'll leave a link in the description below or in the top right hand corner card now, as well as how to fully upgrade him. So once you have Klaus built, you're going to need to head over to the switch control room. Now in the switch control room, there will be a locker with a zero above it and you need to activate Klaus next to it. He will walk up to it, hit it and inside you will find the UV light. Now using this UV light, we need to head to three different rooms around the map. The first room is the Garment Factory. In this room, you'll find a number one on the wall, which indicates that this is the first room we need to go to. Now, using the UV light, you need to walk around the room and look for some numbers on the wall. Now, the numbers that I found were located at the bottom of the stairs here, but it will be in a completely different place every time, and the numbers will be completely different every time as well. So look around the room. You do have to be fairly close for them to appear. But once you've got those numbers, make sure you write them down. We then need to head to the service passage, which is the room where Deadshot Daiquiri is. Now by the ladder in that room, you'll notice the number two, which indicates this is the second set of numbers we'll need. And again, somewhere in this sort of area, you will find some digits on the wall. For me, they were above this doorway. Now the third room we need to go to is the grocery store. This is on the opposite side of the street to Juggernog. And again, you need to scan the walls for two digits. Mine were in the back corner here, and it was zero, zero. Now once we have all three sets of numbers, we then need to head to Hotel Room 305. Now in Hotel Room 305, this is where you got the hands for Klaus when you were making him, you will find the safe. Now you simply need to go up to the safe and put in the numbers in the order you got them. Now for me when I was doing this, the zombies kind of just left me alone. Now I don't know if that was maybe just coincidence or if the zombies will attack you whilst you're trying to input this stuff, but it seems like they didn't interfere too much and allowed me just to put in the numbers. So on the first dial I turned it to 27, on the second dial I turned it to 19, and on the third dial I just left it to 0, and the safe opens up, and inside you'll find your free wonder weapon, the Cerberus. Now this thing is crazy powerful, it comes in different variations, and in order to unlock those variations, all you need to do is kill zombies with this weapon. After a while a zombie will drop an item on the floor and you can go ahead and pick it up, and it will change the variation of this weapon. Some of the variations we have for this weapon are things like the Swarm Kit, which turns this into a tracking sort of shotgun almost, probably my least favorite out of the different versions you can get. There's the Diffuser Kit, which turns this into more of a scattershot kind of weapon. And then we have the Blazer Kit, which turns this into a single shot beam, which is super powerful. But I think personally, I kind of like this weapon just as is, just the default version. Now you can upgrade this weapon up to three times with the Pack-a-Punch. And again, it is a super powerful weapon. I was using it on round 30 plus, and it was just still shredding through zombies. So there you have it, that is how you can get the brand new Cerberus Wonder Weapon on Mauer de Toten for free without hitting the mystery box or doing the trial challenges. Hopefully you found this guide helpful and if you did, click that like button. If you're new around here, consider subscribing for more gaming content and coverage. Apart from all that though, thanks for watching and for hanging out, I do super appreciate it. Hopefully I will catch you in some future content, but until then, as always, make sure you take care. See ya.